May your big vision that you're coming up with today for yourself will reinforce and take you beyond your wildest expectations. Carla Rigger is a popular keynote speaker, a creativity catalyst, corporate consultant, motivator, actor, and author. We were laughing, we were crying. Fantastic. So you're in for a real treat. Do you need a high energy motivational speaker on resilience, leadership agility, change, communication? Then you need Carla Rigger. She'll help you do a mental reset in the face of challenges so you can perform at your very best and to view challenges in terms of opportunities and leaving them feeling positive about having attended with powerful takeaways they can use right away. Influencing with integrity to open people's minds to new ideas. And then you hear these blood-curdling screams as it goes down the hill, and then it comes back, and I swear to God, there's like two people missing. <laughs> And as a speaker, I just find her to be so dynamic and humorous and brilliant in the way that she weaves her stories and her messages together. Why don't cannibals like to eat clowns? <laughs> I don't know, dear, why? <laughs> because they taste funny. <laughs> Stand up in front of your chair right where you are, you stretch your arms up as if you're going down a roller coaster and say these words very loudly and proudly, I'm exhausted, I'm exhausted. All children are born artists, right? Mm -hmm. And our trick is to recapture that artist as an adult and put it into our life's work. And if we don't, I think if we don't, that it becomes destructivity. I'm Carla Rieger. Um, I've been fortunate enough to be in two of her seminars. She is real, she is genuine, and she brings to the table some wonderful information that you can actually take home, use, apply to your life and livelihood, and, uh, and she's a great person all around. And I get to this intersection, right, and there's about 10 of us waiting to cross the street, and I'm trying to fake it till I get there, and there's about 10 of us waiting to cross, and there's a big mud puddle in front bus comes by, mud all over everybody, and I said, excellent! Yeah, now, there's an interesting story of the Cuban Missile Crisis, which could have led to World War III in 1962. This apparently is a true story. It was so intense at one point that all the Soviet and American delegates were in a room talking about how they were going to resolve this and there was so much tension that the communication shut down completely and there was silence in the room and everyone was so scared about the situation and one of the Soviet delegates apparently stood up and said I suggest we all go around and tell a joke and everybody looks at him like what and he goes I will start and this was his joke what is the difference between capitalism and communism? In capitalism, man exploits man. And in communism, it's the other way around. She approaches life with great humor and she makes change feel easy and something anyone can do. I love her approach, it's quite unique. So this helps them share their ideas and then if they've shared an idea for change, and that gets implemented, you're gonna get way more buy-in. So incredibly impressed by how she could bring a powerful message to a group that was fun and engaging and humorous, but always brought really powerful tools forward. He said at the end when he was done and he had to give them a fine and everything, they all hugged him. 